it's toma time what is going on guys toma tales here and today i want to talk about a subject that is preached promoted and regarded as the way to live as a man and it's really just it contributes to a lot of toxic masculinity and what, I, what i'm talking about is the way of life that is being preached by people like you know andrew tate and all these other celebrities that tell you that the way to be happy the way to live life the way to achieve um the way to basically if life was a video game they say that you've completed the video game when you have big cars nice places sleeping with women beautiful women every other day and that mentality that lifestyle that these you know rich famous people are promoting gets us to the topic of how toxic masculinity is ruining the youth. Now, I myself, I get caught up in that sometimes. I see all the nice cars. I see the women. You know, you see all this stuff on social media and you see how, you know, these people who who have that status, how they're living. And you see snippets of it and you want that. You get excited about it. You think that that's the way to live and that's the, you know, the fast track to the top. And what that does to to uh people to younger men who haven't really figured out who they are what they want to do is it puts this mindset in their heads that that's the only thing they should look for that that's the only thing they want in life and so instead of building themselves up from the ground what i mean by that is instead of learning values instead of learning how to interact with other humans in a very you know respectful way and you know a lot of morals are forgotten with the youth with the youth now because all these people, all these younger men and kids on the internet, all they see is the fast life, the cars, the sex, the big houses, the homes. And all they do then is tell themselves, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this happen. And if you're on the internet, you see how, how a lot of, you know, people who make videos, who record videos, who are on TikTok and Instagram, how there's a trend of, smaller people smaller people who want to make it big how they're not making content that content that benefits anyone they all make content that gets that gets headlines for negativity they all get content for stealing a dog for you know pulling a prank that could get someone hurt you know all these crazy ideas that do, do not benefit anyone like i'm speaking to you in a very honest way that where I want to help you guys in your life because I understand that the fast life is not a fast track you don't just get there by being a bullshit person a person with no morals a person that if I saw you right now I wouldn't respect you you don't get there you know by trying to make it the fast way you have to first build yourself up to be a human that is respected that can be respected that has morals that knows how to behave themselves in a public area and that all that stuff is getting mixed up with the toxic masculinity that is being taught in society all everyone wants now is to become famous fast they don't care about how it affects their family they don't care about how it affects their relationships they say i'm gonna do whatever it takes and now you see little kids in england running around stealing shit going to people's homes when's the last time you saw a video that was genuinely there without any motives, without any clickbait, without any ass, tits, money in the thumbnail, that was just there to speak to you or to try and help you figure out what you want to do in life and help motivate you with whatever it is that you want to do. You know, the real honest and genuine content doesn't get promoted. It doesn't get views. It's lost in the and the whatever of the internet and i really don't think that the big cars the big mansions and the women the money is the way to 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 completing life what my plan is to have that i want to become get to a status to where i am someone i don't i'm not really too worried about the money i'm not focused on money i'm not trying to do youtube for the money I just want to make myself feel like I was able to achieve something in my life to where I have status, value, 
to where my words mean something. And yeah, I do want to have a nice car. You know, I do want to have the ability to perhaps get a nice house. But once I've accomplished that, my ultimate goal is not to do that for the rest of my life, to live the fast life where you do drugs, alcohol every day and sleep with different women and share your energy with women who have no morals, who have no goals in their life, but leech off of men who have success. My goal is to become something and, and basically go back to the park, go back to where I am right now, a place of peace, freedom, morals, and connection with nature and perhaps other humans who value the more intimate things in life, such as animals, trees, spirituality. And there's no, there's no place for loving the environment, the animals, the trees, the spirituality, when all you're worried about is making money, getting women, having cars, and trying to be better than the next man next to you just because you think money will make it happen. And it's really sad that so many young people who want to make it in life are ruining their lives, ruining their image for the rest of their lives just because they think that it gives them a slight chance to make it to, to a point where they have status. And they just don't, no one taught them how to behave. No one taught them that if you really want to make it in the long run, you have to, you have to be someone who you can respect, who others can respect. You know, did, did your parents not tell you that you never make it anywhere the fast way? You never make it anywhere cheating through life. And toxic masculinity, all this promotion of sex, drugs, and alcohol, big cars, all that does is teach the youth, teach the youth to try and get it the fast way, the easy way, the way that causes problems instead of solutions in this, in this world. And honest content is hard to find nowadays because it's so faded out with, you know, what everyone wants to see. We live in a society where men are horny, horny individuals who, who all they think about is sex, all they think about is women, all they think about is a quick jerk off. And yeah, I don't know what to make of it because it's hard to find. I feel like it's, it's hard to find a human, like, a, you know, you walk around the grocery store, you walk around in the park and you observe other people. And a lot of times you can see if someone is worthy of, of your time, of your energy, of your conversation to connect with them. And even in the park, you see a lot of people that are just on their phones. They're, they're not even disconnected. They come to the park just to stay on social media, just to stay in the, the fast life. When, you know, the park is to disconnect from all that. Where you just think about your thoughts and try and get away from the toxic masculinity, the toxic content that is being pushed everywhere on social media. I'm telling you guys, the more peaceful, honest, and more morality-filled life is where you travel. You travel the world and you find a place that you love, that speaks to you, that allows you to see and do what you want to do. And then you just find, get a small home. You have a garden, you have plants, you have animals. You perhaps meet a lovely woman who didn't fall for the, for the American world order of being a slut of doing nothing in life but trying to promote sex so you can get a few clicks on the internet on OnlyFans. You find a woman with real value because, especially in America, you are not finding a woman of value here. Um, the West is just, I come from Germany. I lived there for a lot of my life and I've visited there since and it is really insane how different the women are. It's really hard to value American women because all they do is a lot of them, they just go out, they drink, they have sex, they don't value their bodies. And it's just, they just give themselves away. And yet while they do this, American women think so highly of themselves. American women really think that they are the hot shit, that they're the city girls, they're, the, they're what everyone else should be looking up to in Europe and, and whatnot. And the sad part about it is a lot of women and girls in Europe now are trying to change the culture of, of the shyness, of the, the beauty, the you know, a lot of women in Europe have always been very reserved, shy, timid, not easy to sleep with you. They have values, they have morals because they grew up in a household that had dinner with each other. Every night you had dinner with your family, you connected, they taught you values. And in America, the women lost that, but they still think they're the, the hot shit. And there's just, 
there's a lot going on in this world, but I'm telling you right now, if you want to make it to a point of relevance, doing the dumb shit for headlines, just for the money, the cars and the women, it's not going to get you anywhere because if anyone who you think has value, anyone that is an influencer already, and they look at your content and see that you're doing nothing to promote happiness or at least to make someone laugh or, you know, make their day better. You're just stealing stuff and jumping on people's cars for clicks. No one who, who, uh, who, who's made it anywhere in life is going to respect you. So that's just what I want to talk about today. How toxic masculinity is really ruining the youth and getting rid of all the morals in this society to, to create a world of disorder. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Think about certain things before you do it. I could easily be talking about transgender stuff, LGBTQ, uh, men and women roles and this, this and that, all this controversial shit for, for views, but that doesn't get you guys very far. That stuff's been talked about. That stuff's been had opinions made on it. And so I wanted to today talk about how a lot of you younger men especially are being influenced by the tits, the asses, and the money to try and make it fast in life when it's really ruining your life. Peace out, guys.